Good morning to Jesse Mac Vlogs on Sunday, May 31st. I'm John. <laughs> I'm opening the vlog so that my wife doesn't vlog and drive because she doesn't too often. Uh, and especially when I'm in the car. Uh, it's very worrisome. Um, back there is Nick. The 13 year old Nick. Nick, she's spinning around, she give him a side view of that haircut. Oh, I nice. him oh look at well. that. That's nice. And there's Jesse Mag, dutifully driving, uh, wonderfully sunglassed, and ready for the beach. Yes, and I'm not wearing makeup today because we are gonna go walking later today. Actually, John decided we're gonna do both the things I told you last night. We're gonna go to the grocery store and go for a hike. We're gonna do both today. That was his decision. So, talked about it this morning. He's like, why can't we do both? It's like, all right, sounds good. She bribed me. I didn't do anything with the sword. Bribed. Yeah. Yeah. So, we are going to your mom's house to celebrate Nick's birthday. To get some of that mac and cheese and chicken finger goodness. I ate a big breakfast. I probably, I don't even know how many calories. Right. Because she knows. I. Uh, she's trying to avoid the carbs. I had my zero carb bread today, by the way. You did? Yes. I had the whole wheat. Oh, uh, very nice. And honestly, it just tastes like, tastes like wheat bread. Like, I remember wheat bread. I can't say that I've eaten wheat bread in time recently. And like, even before I went low carb, I was not a fan of wheat bread. Um, but it tastes basically like wheat bread. Was, I don't was think it, it terrible? Tastes, no, it wasn't. And it was soft when I pulled it out of the container. No, I did toast it because I had an egg sandwich this morning. Oh, um, so it was, you know, it, it didn't get like super crunchy either. So, I mean, it was, you know, it, it wasn't bad. Bread. Did you uh, check your blood sugar? And stuff? I did not. I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat the other bread tonight when we have our steak for dinner, our, our chopped steak for dinner, oh. and I will test my blood sugar after dinner to see how it goes. There you go. But I would have had to take it while we were at your mom's house, so because I didn't eat breakfast until after ten o'clock. We didn't get up till late. No. Well, my alarm went off at eight. But I kept hitting snooze because I didn't want to wake and get out of bed while you were in bed. I was like, screw that, I'm letting John sleep as long as he can. So we ended up getting up at like 8 45. So it wasn't like super duper late or anything. We didn't stay up too late, did we? Um I turned everything off around midnight, but that's pretty standard for me. Yeah. I think you were probably going to sleep around 11, 15, 11 30. I was reading a lot of news about the stuff that's going on right now. Yeah. Which I don't prefer to, to talk too much in depth because I'd get too upset about it, so. Uh, just yeah. know that we're cognizant of it, we just try not to put that out on our yeah. stuff because um, I would get way too upset. As somebody who uh, unfortunately has to deal with individuals and students in crisis, one of the things that I know about crises, you don't add to a crisis, you only try to take away from. Um, yeah, and, and uh, and I just, it's one of those things where uh, you put out in the world what you want, hopefully, the world to act like it be and calm. I mean, if any, if you guys have sort of figured out, like, I'm pretty calm. <laughs> in the face of a lot of stuff, I'm pretty calm. I'm pretty emotional, so. So I don't, like, it's just one of those things where I, like, and, and Jessica, you know, Jesse, uh, definitely tries her best. It, it, it's ups. I mean, we actually anyway. spent a good. Well, the reason why I had breakfast so late is because even though we got out of bed at eight forty-five, we spent a good chunk of time this morning, just the two of us talking about current events. Yeah, and it's so. you know it's just one of those things where it, once it starts to get, you know, uh, once it starts to get to an escalated point, you know, I, I, I just hope that there is somebody out there that can help take away from what's going on and try to bring some Peace. sort of some sort of resolution and calm yeah. to the, the places that are so um, heartbroken yeah. and you know that said um, we are heading over to my parents house to celebrate uh, the Nicholas's birthday 
Well, he is 13. Yep. He, he is being very patient, showing the signs of a young man and that his birthday gift we were not able to get yesterday, even though we were in various different counties and places um, due to a lot of different reasons. So he is waiting till Wednesday or Thursday to get his video game that he requested as a birthday gift. So, that said, um, hopefully he uh, he'll, he'll be very excited when he gets it. I know that he really loved his Uncle Sean's gift and he's been playing it with his brother. Um, they, they got an EA membership, EA access thing, and it, it allows him to play um, all the EA games. Um, EA access games. Yes. Yeah, all the EA access games. Nick just loves that. They've, and they've been playing what, the they've UFC? Been, they've been playing the UFC. Uh, Neil and I did spend some time last night together watching the UFC a live event. Um, hopefully, you know, hopefully uh, Nick and him uh, enjoy playing those games together. And I know they do. I, I enjoy, you know, encouraging them and I, I like seeing them play together. It's not, Nick and I don't have, I mean, we're waiting for the new Diablo to come out. <laughs> Um, so that we have a game. Diablo? Yep. So that uh, Nick and I have a new game that we can play together. Um, Nick and I uh, share video game. We don't overlap in video game interests, pretty much. Uh, Nick likes Fortnite, which is a very singular person game. He likes first person shooter stuff. And we, well, we, they're, we both like first person shooters, but I like certain ones and he likes certain ones. And they're, they're not the same. And, more and more video games are not being played local co-op on on the actual on the actual console so you have to be online on different TVs and so on and so forth and it's just a pain in the bum so anyway that's my video game rant for video game developers out there I think if you want to bring back a hit bring local co-op uh, local split screen back um, I, I love it Green Bay. so that being so said, for today, if we're going today. to the in-laws for Nick's birthday. Or, we're going to run to Sam's Club. As long as there's no line, we're going to John's going to run in and grab. I think I have a list of about a dozen things. It's like ten to twelve things, and Neil will probably add a couple of things to it. Okay. Um, and mainly, it's just for like things that are we're going to need over the next like two or three weeks. Um, we did a lot of stocking up on some of, of food for the last couple of months. So we've got plenty of food in the freezers and stuff, especially after you got the quarter yep. quarter cow. Um, so we've got a lot of food in the house. Well, I mean, we're gonna need to get like vegetables and stuff, but for we the prefer, most part, our main uh, meals are good. Yeah, and I prefer to get vegetables as fresh as possible. So, I mean. Uh, so we have frozen, like we, we, have, we have frozen, frozen broccoli, we have canned, and frozen green beans and canned green beans. So, I mean. Those things are definitely present, but yeah, it's well, not. like we like asparagus, and asparagus we like fresh, and like not frozen. Um, babe, when we come back, I'll let you play Pokemon. Um, anyway, but we're gonna run to Sam's Club as long as there's no line. John's gonna run in and grab the, you know, like 10 to 12, 15 things, depending on what meal adds. Um, and then we're gonna go for a hike later today. And we're not gonna, we're hoping to do about six miles. That's the goal, five to six miles. We're not gonna do the long six mile hike that we did with the mountain, uh, cause John brought up a very good point in that Thursday and Friday it was raining most of those two days. So if we thought it was so, uh, soupy on Memorial Day, it's definitely gonna be soupy today. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the end of the six mile hike, walk like two or three miles back, yeah. and then just turn around and come back out. So it's gonna be around three to four miles depending on like, because the way that that hike is, you've got two state parks, and there's a line for the state parks, and there is a, it, 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 the entire six mile hike is in a state forest. But the park rangers only maintain the parks. And there is a portion of that hike that is outside of the two parks, but is within the state forest. Um, 
so they don't necessarily maintain the trail that's on that portion that's not in within the two parks itself so they're they're more like that's the part that was more soupy more muddy etc so we're gonna start at the end and do the easier hike to be honest with you because I honestly don't think I could go up the hill and then come right back down that hill I just don't think I could do it I don't think I'm at that stage in physical fitness to do that so we're gonna start the easy part walk in and then turn around and walk out uh, we don't know what's the easier you, part. your elbow rested so this whole video is like shaking around sorry guys what yeah. you have to hold it on it's 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 a pain i know um anyway i'm trying to make it steady if i no, most... you have to hold it up it, because it's on your elbow every or your knee every time you're like juggles it, it shakes the whole thing <sighs> okay. I, it's, i'm sorry I, it's counter -right. i'm like, sorry i ruined uh, Jesse oh Max uh, entrance radio. Anyway, we're gonna try to do five miles later on the day. That's, there you go. that's the point. So we will keep you updated as the day goes on. For now, we're gonna go to uh, lunch and we will see you guys later on today. Bye. Hey y'all. I don't know where that came from. I'm not from the South. It is 820. <laughs> we, we got all the stuff and you can see I'm in my nightgown. We got all the stuff that we were gonna do today done we got to sam's club got um our list purchases except purchased except for a couple things like nick really likes beef and pinatas and or spicy jamaican beef roll up wrap ups or something i don't know they're beef and pinatas anyway um they have been sold out for a while like a long time they've been sold out at uh, sam's club so we didn't get those and i think there was a couple of other things on the list that we weren't able to get but for the most part john was able to get everything and what's funny is this he ran into his sister there she was shopping too but anyway long story short we got the sam's club done so that was good um i'm gonna be eating carnivore this week so i might actually film it i don't know we'll see um, but I'm going to be eating carnivore this week. Um, I already had my meal plan. Our dinners, what I was doing last night, I think I showed you guys last night, all of our dinners for the entire month of June are right on the, um, refrigerator, um, up until our vacation. We're leaving for vacation on the 26th. Neil's not coming with us. He's going to stay home with the dogs, but we're leaving for vacation on the 26th. So the entire month of June is on that refrigerator um and then for my breakfasts and lunches pretty much i'm gonna be eating a lot of the same things which is what i'm doing in the kitchen right now by the way i'm eating a lot of the same things for the entire month um so i'm actually meal prepping bacon right now i'm cooking bacon right now so um but i have my lunches and breakfasts actually sitting over here pretty much i plan to eat uh for breakfast every single day during the week um, for the, the month of June, hard boiled eggs and bacon. And then on the weekends, I'll make scrambled eggs and sausage pretty much. Um, but during the week, I'll just be eating hard boiled eggs and bacon. That's why I'm cooking all this bacon. So, uh, we got a three pound package of bacon from Sam's Club and that's what I'm making right now. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Oh, we also hold one second, please. All right, so I'm all red because I just flip-flopped the pans. Now I do have a cooking on convection, which in theory means that the entire oven should be the same temperature, but it's not. So anyway, I just flipped the pans because otherwise one pan will get burnt and the other pan won't be done, cook done cooking by the time I pull them out. Um, but anyway, uh, we also went for a hike. Our hike ended up being about two and three quarters miles, two and a half to two and three quarters miles is what we ended up doing. Um, so we didn't do, you know, six miles by any stretch, but we did at least two and, it was over two and a half miles um, that we walked. And I was tired. I was tired because unlike when I go down to the lake, right down the street, down at the lake, it's all even. There's no inclines whatsoever. Okay, interrupted all this time. Hold on one second, please. John's gonna get it. Um, so where we went to, there is an incline and then a decline and an incline and a decline. So definitely had more of a workout, um, doing that than going down to the lake because the lake is all like even and everything. I'm not, I'm not so anyway, um, but it was a nice walk. Uh, everybody came with John and I are the only ones who went to Sam's club and John's the only one who went into Sam's club. Um, but 
that's kind of where we're at at 8.30. I talked to you a lot earlier today. Um, my goal is to get, what day is today, Sunday? Friday's vlog edited tonight before I go to bed because I have not edited Fridays or Saturdays, I think. I think. No, Fridays might be up. I don't remember. Whatever vlog I need to edit next, I'll edit next. Tonight. I'm going to edit one tonight and then um, then I'll edit the other two tomorrow. So, because I'm obviously with today's three behind. So, I will get that done. And then, you know, the, at least two of them will go live tomorrow and then the other two, once I catch up, will go live on Tuesday. So, that's where I kind of am. I have to do my thumbnails tonight for this week's videos. I never ended up getting a taste test video filmed for Monday. I wanted to, and I never did. I wanted to film my gummy bears, and I never did. That stinks. And I'm not gonna throw clothes on just to film a taste test video, so that's not happening. Anyway, um, yeah, that's the last day of May. I do need to um, order Nick's birthday present. I haven't done that yet today. So that's on the to-do list tonight yet, is to order Neil, Nick's uh, video game that he wants. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. at almost 8.30. I have one more batch of bacon to do. I've done four trays so far, and I've got one more batch to do right here. So and I have the plate of the stuff here. So can you see how messy my counter is? All the parchment paper and wax paper and storage bags and spoons yeah and then the knife block literally if you look this is all like storage aluminum foil parchment paper even over here is bags and then there's the low carb bread that neil's been eating our mixer which we never use anymore since we don't make mashed potatoes um yeah pretty much is a bunch of storage stuff all right i'm gonna go ahead and finish up this bacon and then i'm gonna get back in the bedroom and work on my computer so i will see you guys before bed bye all right, you guys, it is time for bed. It is 10.30, and good news is I got all the bacon made. It's in the refrigerator for the week, and I got Friday's vlog edited. I didn't get Saturday's done, but Friday's is edited. It's processing now. I will upload it tomorrow, so good time there. I am going to try. We'll see if I'm successful. I'm going to try to get up tomorrow and do a foundation review. I've got it all sitting there. I actually have all the products pulled out. It's in the box. It's ready to be filmed, to be honest with you. I just haven't. I mean, I've been, it's literally been sitting there for two weeks, something like that, a week and a half, two weeks. Um, so I am going to try to film that tomorrow. We'll see if I'm successful. Um, if I do, I might decide to film at the same time at my 1,000 subscriber giveaway for Epic Beauty Fail. I, right now, as of this evening, which it could change, like tomorrow I could lose five subscribers, I am at 999 subscribers. <laughs> I literally need one more person to subscribe <laughs> to hit that thousand, that, that, that thousand mark. If you guys are not aware, 1,000 is a big milestone for YouTube. What you doing, Nick? Saying hi to the vlog. We already put Nick to bed. You're saying hi to the vlog. And That's, plus good night. Oh, you're saying good night. Nick got a bunch of socks today. Yes. I think he's going to get some more. I told somebody else to get him some socks too. <laughs> I thought I was still going to get my present. I haven't ordered. Shoot, I forgot to order it, Nick. I'm sorry. Order it tomorrow. Okay. I, like I probably should go order it now so I don't forget. I also forgot to use my $5 certificate to Kohl's, but... I didn't use that. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Good night, Nick. What are you doing? Come here. Mom? I love you, my son. Go to bed. Hi. Um, I mean, it's a free $5, but because the stores are closed, in order to use it and get free shipping, I would have to order like $75 worth of stuff. Don't want the bed bugs bite. Um... And the way Kohl's does it is you it's not seventy five dollars in the original cart. You need to get seventy five dollars after all of the coupons are put on it. So I have a five dollar coupon that would bring it down to seventy. I would need to buy five dollars more. I they're running like twenty percent off or something like that. That would be fourteen or fifteen dollars off, which means I had I would have to buy fifteen dollars more. And it's just they're the way that they run their 
their coupons and it's it's very very frustrating um to be honest with you so i wanted to order something today and i forgot and i was going to order the other stuff that i bought to get the five dollar certificate anyway so it's not like um you know i'm not like all upset about it i mean i am a little bit but it, it's frivolous it doesn't mean anything so i do have to try to remember to i'm sure nicholas will remind me tomorrow <laughs> to order his his present so <laughs> he got a bunch of socks both of john's sisters got him socks and i told my brother to get him socks so he's gonna have a bunch of socks which is good because like all of his socks that he got at christmas time from santa claus are the ones all he likes. yeah because he likes dress socks he likes funky dress socks um all of his socks from christmas are wearing through oh the uh, ones he likes pretty much all well but he we only uh, santa only brought him ones that he likes anyway this is a very long vlog today we talked for a lot this morning so i'm just gonna wrap it up um i gotta go do my nighttime routine but it's time for bed so uh got everything we wanted to get done today including sam's club the walk and cooking bacon so i can't complain it's been a very successful day as far as i'm concerned um tomorrow like i said foundation review filming my 1000 subscriber giveaway and i might also film my um i might also film my uh Come on, Jessica, think palette tag that everybody's been filming and putting out. Because I was I was going to put that out next week, I think. No. Yeah. I don't remember. Whenever my declutter series is over, that was going to be the first video I post on, like, the Wednesday following my last declutter video. So, that's to come. I, so, I might film both of those videos. It depends on how my makeup looks at the end of the day. Um, I'm not going to get up early enough to film all three videos in the morning. Um, and since it's a new foundation, I don't know what it's going to look like. So we'll see how it looks at the end of the day. If it looks good, then I will film those other two videos. If not, then I probably won't. And goal is to get, um, another walk in tomorrow night. So that's it for today. Today, I am thankful that my family is safe. Not everyone has that luxury. So, I'm thankful that my family is safe. I hope today was better than yesterday and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope you all are having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. And I hope all of your families are safe too. Bye guys.